We are Eamon and Beck, and after years on the road, we've moved here to a rundown cabin in the woods. And just when we thought the renovations would be our biggest challenge yet, oh, I think I broke my hip. We've realized keeping warm and staying sane throughout winter will be quite the hurdle. Burr. Burr. <laughs> we can see. <laughs> Instead of sunbathing, we ice bathe in the winter. They think we're crazy already. <laughs> we shall start the day in the loft. We did not spend much time up here. Welcome to the loft. Actually, the only thing we do in the loft is bring our junk up to the loft. Yeah. No bueno. Also, this is no bueno, so we realized, the oh, it's freezing. Really? Oh. So much heat is escaping or cold is coming in. Or yeah, because out the sides of the attic are vents. Right. And this is where the chimney used to be. Right. This is a big hole. We need to fill it with wood. I'll get some tools. I'll clean up. Talk about what just happened? Probably not. We use an extremely expensive lens to shoot these videos, and finally the scales have been evened. No, not even close. You've broken like three. Well, at least you're on the leaderboard. <laughs> no, but I have. It didn't even break. It's just the zoom lens. No, this is all getting cut because I didn't even do anything wrong. We could still shoot. We just couldn't zoom. You literally crack the screen, crack the camera. Anyway, we have a backup. Moving on. <laughs> okay, so let's try and take down some of these boards and then replace them with good boards. Watch out you don't fall through the crack. Yeah, no kidding. All right. <laughs> First board down. It took a minute to get going. So tricky is these are all tongue and groove boards so on each side and everywhere they're all interconnected. Tongued and grooved. They are tongued and grooved. Eamon's gonna continue tackling the ceiling. What we're thinking is if we can use these boards on this unfinished wall to replace the boards on the ceiling that would be ideal because this wall is all going to be drywall just to break up all the wood up in this loft space. So here we go back. Go back go. I don't even know if I'm holding these tools correctly, so let's just give her a go. Nice! Woo! Back! So because the chimney was going through there, we got to replace some insulation that was in there. This was conveniently located in the basement. Mm. And so I'm just gonna shove that in there. Now I don't, it does have a water vapor barrier. Um, I think the easiest way is just to seal it back up with tape. So I'll just uh, seal that area and then put the wood back on. And that's the little patch I gotta do. Not that's not a proper vapor barrier, blah, 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 blah. Look, this is what we got, this is what we had. We're not going into town. Uh, it's a good quality 3M foil tape. Should do the trick, better than a big hole in the ceiling. Don't you think? That's what I think. Shove it in there, you know, mate? Mm-hmm. 
This is a really good call, babe, grabbing the wood from over there. Yeah. Because we did get some fresh stuff in case, but it's so much lighter and obviously fresher. It would really stand out, so. That was different, eh? Good thinking. You know, I was going to ask. It's the end of a chapter. <laughs> Here it is. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, Eamon. What? Now it looks like we should have really nah, placed nah, nah. these ones. A little ones. lipstick on there, you won't even notice. Lipstick. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Very nice. That looks good, dude. That's been months in the making. That took way too <laughs> long to do. I mean, like for us to actually do it, it took yep. us ten minutes. Love yeah, it looks sick. Yeah, an hour. Couple hours. An couple, hour and a half. Couple, couple hours. Three hours. <laughs> and to finish off the space, time to demo the box. Yoo! There you have it, folks. Back to its original stuff. We just gotta got a new piece of plywood now. That's after lunch. Okay, chef came to party today. That looks amazing. Cheers to a tempeh Caesar salad wrap. You didn't put away the arugula. I thought we said we weren't going to clean up. We're just going to continue working on the project. Yeah. So you didn't put away the arugula. <laughs> beach. Beach. <laughs> You're a beach. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, we are trying to button up the project, as I said. So we're out here in the frigid temperatures to see if we can find replacement. Um, what do we need? Ply for the bottom piece and a piece for the railing if we can find it. What do we got in here? Holy frigid, huh? Holy frigid temperature. <laughs> Get two frigid refrigerators for the price of one. <laughs> it's cold in Canada. It's cold, let's go, right. I'm freezing. Uh, I don't even have quarter fly, it's a quarter fly. No, it's 16. <laughs> Alright, back go inside. You're bothering me. Here, bring this. Just want to show you the outside temperature is about minus 15 degrees Celsius. Burr. Burr. You okay? It's not frozen my nose. <laughs> Come in. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, I got the right amount of equipment. Did you get the um, railing piece or no? No. Is that the new railing piece? <laughs> Shoot. You have a work light? Do I have a work light? <laughs> joining me outside. I can. You just capture the moments from the inside. <laughs> Do you need me outside? There, I'm just gonna cut this real quick. Okay. 22 by 20, no, 20 by... 22 and a half by 20 by 24. <laughs> oh, he's such a trooper. He might be nuts, but he's a trooper. <laughs> we can see. We can see. <laughs> <laughs> That's the ticket. Now after all that forged ticker. No, that's a hook ticker. It's hard to say. 
Yeah, it's, 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 it's might be a little ticker. <laughs> That's all right. The kids will just learn like, oh, that's where I stub my toe. <laughs> oh, the kids. So for the past couple of years, Eamon and I have both like known we wanted kids, <laughs> but never really talked about having kids um, until want. two days ago when Eamon decided we should have a kid it's today. On. COVID baby. Now, <laughs> he wants a COVID baby. I'm not quite on board, so I think I'm the most important component of this. No kids yet for us, but Eamon's building everything determined and he, he's determined to try and everything he builds he's like well for the kids you know when the kids we gotta reinforce it for the kids Tim and my dad didn't want to make my play area safe. Ah! Uh, it's not gonna hurt my plants. We'll only find out once you drop. Well, there's some uh, glasses there, safety glasses. Drop them, mate. Guy straight over here. <laughs> straight enough. Is it straight? It's straight enough. We're doing it, mate. Thank you, babe. Thank you, darling. Thank you, darling. Thank you, darling. Thank you, darling. All right, chicken pot pie for dinner. Clean up time. I'm gonna chop some of that for the fire. You guys have seen us partner with Omaze to give you a sprinter van, and we're doing it again. But this time's a little different. We're giving away a Airstream Atlas. Plus $20,000 to help get you on the road. This camper takes glamping to the next level. You have solar panels on the roof, a retractable awning, a three-piece bathroom, which of course is a highlight for me. Tuck away Murphy bed. Oh, the Murphy bed and that retractable wall that gives you that extra space when you're parked up. It looks more like a yacht than a van. <laughs> it's truly incredible. Plus, you'll also be winning $20,000 to get you on the road. That'd go a long way in Mexico. That's all I'm saying. I could probably live five <laughs> years in Mexico on 20 grams. So with the uncertainty of travel in 2021, I feel like having a home on wheels is the perfect way to explore your own backyard and know that you'll get outside this upcoming year. And as always, every single donation goes to support a great cause. First Descent provides life-changing outdoor adventures for young adults who have been impacted by cancer and other serious health conditions. These free outdoor programs allow them to surf, climb, paddle beyond their diagnosis and help them to reclaim their lives. Your donation will go towards supporting their work, plus their newly launched Hero Recharge initiative, which gives access to these adventures to the healthcare workers who are currently fighting the COVID-19 pandemic. So for your chance to win the Airstream Atlas and 20K cash, and of course support the great cause, visit omaze.com slash ENB. What's up today, baby? Before we get too ahead of ourselves, have we seen how good this looks? In the broad daylight? Yeah. Actually, in broad daylight, you can see some of the imperfections, but overall, I would say we did an amazing job. 
like nothing ever happened. Like there was never a chimney. It's probably the worst project to do. It was brutal. We put it off <laughs> for four months. Okay. Um, let's go test chip, out that chip, splitter. Split, chip, chip, split, split? Split, split, chip, chip. I think I need to put on like seven more layers though. Yeah. There's ice on the inside of our house. Inside. Ice. <laughs> We're going to try and use our wood furnace as much as possible. It is the most efficient way to heat the house, the most cost effective way to heat the house. And. A lot of the wood that was dropped off still needs to be split. It's still way too big. And splitting wood in freezing temperatures, well, it can be a struggle. <sighs> Luckily, our friend Marco watches the vlog and he dropped off something pretty fancy. Are you warm enough? Very, very. Wow. It worked. Afternoon. We've got about an hour until the sun goes down and something we don't do enough and we definitely don't show you guys enough is just walking around the property. We have about three acres here. Let's go check out how the land's doing. Yeah, I've never even like walked down there. <laughs> we cannot break two cameras in one video, but... Oh gosh, yeah, please be careful. Don't mind me just collecting kindling. Oh my gosh! Careful, bud. I'm good. Is this not what you had in mind when you said, let's go for a walk? <laughs> not quite, bud, but honestly, I should have known better. Eight years with you and I thought I could go on a walk? <gasps> what was I thinking? So Look at this. <laughs> that is so cool. Bang your heel into it, will it break? Instead of sunbathing, we ice bathe in the winter. Yeah. Whoa. That's solid, dude. Dude, you wanna go, you wanna, you wanna, do you want to curl? You can always have <laughs> <laughs> This is a classic Canadian sport. <laughs> oh, that's shit. All right, my turn. <laughs> Winner. <laughs> Winner, Ganyan. <laughs> Confidence just keeps building. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Enough if you starfish. If you ever do break it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Maybe a few more days until we're skating on this ice. Oh, the gear are cracking. It's not good. We're gonna keep it safe. Welcome to hell. It's a smart thing to do. And now, time for my peaceful walk. This is the area we call Beck Bay. Mostly because, as you can see, I need some time away from Eamon every once in a while. So this is Beck Bay. And apparently there's a beaver who lives here. But you might need to kick him out if you're trying to be alone. No, I'd like the beaver. <laughs> That's his house. Gosh, that's so cute. We're just gonna wait here quietly for a couple minutes to see if he wants to come say hi to Beck. Yeah. He wanted to say hi to me. Oh my gosh. I Did told you he's here. He's so cute. Oh, he, I can't believe it. <gasps> Thank <laughs> you. 
I can't believe we found I them. I can't believe it either. I feel like this was a really important thing for you and I to do. Yeah. Just take a break from working and come enjoy nature. The only problem I see here is I don't think I'm quite dressed for a stakeout. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting really cold. What are you going to name him? How about Wyerton Willie? <laughs> I think when Wyerton gets out of the water, he shakes like a dog. Almost every furry mammal shakes their body when they get wet. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> Thank you so much, Wyerton. See you next time. Keep protecting the bay. Long live the bay. How's that wood burning? Beauty. Nice and split. Cold cider? <gasps> Look at us. What is it, Friday night or something? Tuesday afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Alright, looks like slim pickings for dinner. Buddy, how does slim pickings sound? I love pickings. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think I'm gonna keep it really simple. We'll make tacos with my lentil walnut meat, which is just divine. And we don't have many veggies, so lentil walnut taco meat, which is just divine. What else? Just taco meat? Since arriving home in Toronto, we've noticed a few things that we've been thinking about that have been greatly affected by the pandemic. The first of which is all of the small businesses and local shops that are out of business. So if you're doing any holiday gifting this season, we would encourage you to shop local. The other thing is just the sheer amount of homeless people that are in and around our community in Toronto. Um, I'm sure it's a tough time for everybody. So we figured we would do just a small act of kindness and try and make their winter a little warmer. Toronto's back in lockdown, so naturally, there's a massive line at Costco. We went with these socks because they're my favorite, they're Eamon's favorite. They are so warm and really, really good quality so they'll last a long time. You have a great show. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wear flip flops. He loved them. Drove to the suburbs with our Christmas. You're Happy holidays. Waiting for parking. You gave me. Is he thankful? Yeah, he was grateful. Right he was caught off guard, I think. Felt just Here goes, a Lord. little like this. Let's go talk for you. Cheers, bro. He said he prefers flip flops, but he'll sleep in them. <laughs> okay, <laughs> if you want, dude. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed the last video of 2020. We'll be back for an amazing season of 2021. We got lots of exciting things planned. <laughs> We're going back to see Trinity. We're gonna give back even more and hopefully some in-person meetups. We'll see you in three Sundays. That people think we're crazy for not wearing head protection. They think we're crazy already. <laughs> Well, all of a sudden you think we're gonna eat a chicken. Oh, a soy pop, soy pop pie for dinner, guys. <laughs> so, can I get a soy pop pie? Hey, table, Dolly. table five. Darling, I'll take a soy pop pie for dinner. <laughs> We got some cracking forming, which joins up to that crack, which joins up to that crack, which means when I make that last cut, I'll be standing on an iceberg. You go on your side, BD. Grab the rope. <laughs> Pull yourself in. <laughs> Are you done? <laughs> so that was three seconds. Next time we'll push it to four, I guess. <laughs> I can't feel my leg. <laughs> 
<laughs> Do you feel alive? No, my butt hurts. <laughs> <laughs> Just like snow.